frying pan. And into the fire, run. run! Hello, and welcome to Out of the Frying Pan, a Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game podcast YouTube channel. So this is the sister YouTube channel to our audio podcast. You can find that through the notes that will be attached to this video. So if you fancy checking that out, then uh, please do. My name is Dan, and I'm one of the two hosts. My colleague Stu is not with me today, obviously. So uh, the reason I'm coming to you now is to discuss the Witch King of Angmar. So he's uh, the new model released by Games Workshop this weekend. As you may have noticed, there was two. So the reason for that is we will be uh, giving one of those away. So please do stay in touch with our social medias, which you can also find below to find out how you can win one of those. But the reason I'm speaking to you today is to unbox this little beauty, which I've been looking forward to very much. Then what I'll also do is go through assembly and hopefully by the end of this video, you will see him fully painted to add to my personal Mordor army. So without further ado, we'll crack on and uh, see what's in the box. So as you can see, we've uh, got the box for the Witch King of Angmar. So he is priced at 20 pounds in the UK. Um, I'll just get this open. Please excuse the state of my knife. It is my all-purpose Milliput grossness knife. So let's put that away. So let's see what we've got in the box. Now I've not opened any of this before. So we have a single sprue amongst well, things. The obligatory 25 mil and uh, 40 mil bases. And it would appear to instructions. Pretty simple. So before I break away again to start assembling things and uh, coming back to you, just a quick peruse of the old uh, sprue. See the usual quality of which you'd expect for a modern GW multi-part plastic. The sculpting on it is fantastic. The um, I don't know how well you can pick this out on the camera. The pitting of the swords. Um, I am reasonably well renowned for absolutely hating painting horses, but these seem to have more of a defined musculature, so I don't think they're going to be, or rather this one, is going to be quite so revolting to do. So I am quite excited about this. I can already see some of the, the parts here for the uh, Witch King's Mace, which looks suitably terrifying. So all in all, it's looking pretty cool so far. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what you get in the box there. So uh, what I'll do is I'll come back to you once I've got these assembled. So uh, about an hour and a half I've taken to uh, get these built. So I've got uh, the Witch King footer mounted. I've done in Pelennor style to match my Mordor army. So I'll uh, just, I've got them on uh, painting handles. I've got the old GW one here for the uh, infantry. As you can see this model is pretty awesome. The way that it hides a lot of the seams and joins as part of the sculpt is fantastic. Really impressed with this kit. Um, there's not an awful lot of instances of things being put in slightly precarious places in terms of um, where the sprue meets the model. So, so far, really impressed with that. And then just on the Rathcore here, I've got my uh, cavalry version of the Witch King here. Again, really impressive the way it hides a lot of the uh, sort of the joins and the mould lines. A bit of mould line cleaning as well I've done. He's just pinned on there. Uh, I've got, I'm going to be attaching these to the uh, obligatory generation shift bases. So uh, I'll be able to link those down in the uh, show description as well, because by the time you see these fully painted, they'll be on those particular bases to match the rest of my army. So yeah, um, they're all assembled now. Very, very straightforward. Just some straight swaps for the uh, sort of Black Riders version. And uh, yeah, you'll have them put together really quickly. Really, really great kit. Loving it. So I'll just uh, pop him down. And the uh, when I come back, next time you see these, they will be painted. Right, so it's been about 24 hours and I have managed to get the Witch King painted. So just give you some idea of what he's looking like now he's done. Just painted to a reasonable gaming standard. Obviously the light's going to have washed out tons of this. But there will be further photos on our social medias. I have just popped some up on our Instagram page. So 
If you want to go and check those out, then you are more than welcome. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with him. Nice quick job. And there's the foot model as well. Now these are obviously, as per usual for me, based on the generation shift bases, which are fantastic. So you can find Matt on Facebook if you want to pick up any of his amazing bases. So yeah, I've been very, very happy with these um, models. It's been a joy to paint, so I want to say thank you for joining me and uh, checking out the video. Obviously you can find more videos on YouTube and also you can find all of our podcasts on the usual channels. So if you'd like to uh, give us more of a listen or a watch, then you're more than welcome to. We should have a new cast out uh, this week we're going to record. And hopefully we'll have that out by the end of the week, if not beginning of next. So uh, we'll catch you all soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. Out of the frying pan. And into the fire. Run. Run!